Hello, my name is Yusuf Yassin, and I'm a Customer Success Manager at UiPath. Today, we're going to show you how the combination of UiPath Automation Platform and Druid's no-code chatbots can help in the banking industry. A customer can choose from different languages that they would like to engage with and also proceed through a guided conversation in order to help efficiently achieve the resolution they're looking for. The customer in this case has an online account and will proceed with entering in their specific account credentials where a robot will capture this information and validate this against the customer database. If this is true, then information relevant to their account and profile type will be presented on this carousel where a customer can choose to either interact with one of the buttons on this carousel or enter in information through free text. In this case, the customer is actually asking to request for a loan. The intent was understood and supplementary information will then start to be captured in order to build the information required to make this request. Information relevant to this request are pieces such as the currency, the amount, and also the loan type. Once selected, the customer has the option to again validate information so far has been correctly entered before they enter in their duration. We have one option here where the customer can again adjust information entered through this slider menu where they could choose the amount and also duration. Once they're comfortable that the information here is correct, they can proceed with entering a confirmation to proceed with the next step. I'm going to proceed with actually making this loan request online and I will be answering some GDPR related requests so I have to confirm that this is okay and I am actually asked to upload a specific identification. This identification will be uploaded and a robot will run OCR to again confirm for additional security measures that this person is who they say they are. I have options to upload this through SMS, through email, or through my desktop. Once I've uploaded this, I can confirm. And now we will switch to the agent view. As an agent, I can see that I have a customer waiting and they've been waiting for 26 seconds or so. Once I connect, I can send a pre-configured message to help speed the time to delivery of the first message. As an agent, I'm going to now understand their request a little bit better. And in this case, a customer is actually asking to change their contract. As an agent, I will engage with my own personal chatbot, which can help me speed up requests that I need to fulfill for my customers. Essentially, I'm having a conversation now with my personal chatbot where I'm going to enter an information specific to this customer. I've entered in the identification numbers and I want to see the available offers that I have for that specific customer. Once I confirm the information that has been entered, I can go ahead and activate this specific offer. I want this offer to start today and now opening up my unattended robot, which I have hosted on a VM, I can actually go ahead and see the robot in action. The robot will quickly enter in through forms that are required with the relevant information. And once completed, I will get a confirmation back into this chatbot, which says all this information has now been successfully activated. I can proceed with entering this information to the customer and note that I have a yellow box because the time since my last message had elapsed a specific SLA that we try and adhere to. The customer now has one more request and they want to change a specific contract. In the previous example, we had used unattended robots on a VM. In this case, I can also leverage attended robots on my machine. I will enter an information specific to this request and we will see an attended robot automatically be triggered on my machine to complete this specific request that has been asked. For full view, we can show the attended robot here was triggered by itself and the job has started processing. This was triggered automatically without any intervention required from the agent. Information is captured 
and this can be done much quicker than a human can type. And once completed, I get a confirmation in my chatbot. I can confirm this to my customer that all the changes have been updated and disconnect. One last piece that we have here is when we disconnect, we're also presented with some options we can, we can choose from in order to help build the analytics to understand how best we were able to handle this request and is there any options for improvements.